bro this ultimate looks so clean look at that heel bro oh my god he's gonna be okay so we're here we got a trailer for ahmed and stewart the two new espers that are about to come to this light on the 21st and we're actually about to see some gameplay. And I'm really interested in this because I really want to see their animations. I'm really big into animations and uh, this game, the animations really, really well on the characters. And I'm, I'm just excited in general because it's new characters. So uh, let's just let's just get right into it. Let's see uh, Stuart's ability first. Okay. Okay. The boy Stuart. He got the short shorts on. <laughs> The hypnotizer. Forget your worries. Oh damn, that's a little loud. And wake with the dog. Sorry about that. The music sounds good though. Okay. The moonwalk. Story. It's pretty <laughs> good. Okay, okay. I like, I like his aesthetic. You need it's my cool, help, man. Just say the word. Urban futuristic kind of a thing. Okay, so we got his first ability there. Let's let's watch all the animations first, and then we'll go into the into into their play gameplay. Okay, that's his basic attack. That's his second ability. Okay, that also puts him to sleep. And this is his ult right here. Time Vortex. That looks so cool, bro. Okay, and that's his nuke. See you next time. Okay. Okay, I, hopefully I see you next time, man. I'm really trying to pull him. I really do hope they put the four star rates for, for these guys up also as well as the banner character. I don't know if they will start doing that. But all I know is the banner character right now is what they got as a main as a main thing so yeah oh and also i read in the patch notes that they actually changed the pity now so it's actually 450 for you to be able to get the character guaranteed but people are saying you got to go all the way to actually 470 but instead of it starting at one percent uh the probability of you getting uh the new banner character starts at 10 percent for every time you pull a legendary so it, off the rip it starts at 10 percent so I'm really happy about that change. So that means more than likely we should get the uh, the banner character, right? So if you're really unlucky, you'll probably have to go to that pity, even though that they they did lower it. It's still really expensive, so be be very very careful with that. Uh, let's go into his moves here. So so this is his first ability. He snaps out uh his uh with his fingers and he throws out this his blast and it deals damage to an enemy with a chance of inflicting sleep we're just gonna read the abilities based off uh what we got here what well, i already read and went into in depth of their then of their abilities in the patch notes um so if you want to see that i'll leave a card up here or something link into that video but all right so he deals damage with a chance of inflicting the sleep okay cool i know uh his abilities also have high multipliers so second ability here is soundly dreams that that was a pretty cool blast looking blast there um so soundly dreams deals damage to an enemy if the target's hp falls below a certain percentage after the attack inflicts sleep on on them okay so i think of uh, these next two abilities actually i have a high multiplier right um and remember in this trailer he's level one so we don't really really get to see how hard and he has no gear too so we don't see how hard it hits but for a level one hitting at 744 that's actually pretty good so and he has a chance of inflicting split, uh, sleep, so it's a uh, nuker uh, with a um, with uh, some CC. And I believe when I was reading his abilities, you you want to build him with HP because he's kind of kind of skills off HP his damage too. So let's watch that ability here again. Boom! That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. I like it. And then his uh, ultimate time vortex deals damage to an enemy at the cost of a caster of the caster's current hp so he loses hp one one doing this damage as you can see the 258 right there uh right as he char he's charging his ultimate he does damage to himself when landing a critical hit deals an additional deals additional damage to the target based on their max hp okay so okay so i think that's you got to build him with hp so you can do more damage this attack of inflicts sleep on both the caster and the and, and the target at the end of the turn so he puts sleep on himself but then the extra thing about this uh thing about his ability here is that if this inflicts sleep on both the caster and the target uses soundly dreams to counterattack if the ca caster is woken from sleep so if they awaken him they he will um he will come out and do his uh his uh second ability but let's see these this uh animation again looks really really good you need to sleep very very nice very beautiful looking oh my god for a four star that actually looks so damn good wow okay so yeah as you can see this is the ascension but um the second part of the move he actually does 
uh, when you wake him up would be this. If you wake him up, he does soundly dreams and he'll actually hit uh, counterattack the person that woke him up, I believe. And he might have a chance of putting, putting them to sleep. So he's like a very put you to sleep kind of character and he has high uh, scaling abilities so yeah he's he's a uh, kind of like a tank dps with a uh, good cc so he, he seems like he's gonna be a really solid unit let's see this ultimate one more time clean boy Ooh. okay okay and now for the boy we all been wa <clears throat> waiting for ahmed oh damn here we go all right Michael Jackson gloves. Okay. He gives me like Prince vibes. Very, very cool. He's a support unit. If you guys didn't know. It's kind of like Clara a little bit. Kind of like Clara, but some uh, some differences. Oh, hi. I feel like he's going to be a better healer though than Clara. So that's his uh, skill one ability. Wow, that looks really good. Prelude to life. Attacks an enemy dealing damage based on the caster's attack and max HP. So you want to build him with attack and HP. Um, and heal and healing an ally for a portion of the caster's max HP. So yeah, you kind of want to stack a bunch of uh, HP. I think the multiplier is higher on the HP. Um, and he also gets a little bit of a percentage from his attack. But I think mainly you want to stack uh, that HP. So yeah. He hits, he hits a target three times. Boom, boom, boom. And you can see he healed him three times right there. It doesn't say it exactly here, but he, he heals him exactly three times right here. So, yeah, I remember that. I, I wish they would have gone, like, you know, they, they go into the abilities a little bit more in depth in these little things right here. Because he actually, uh, per, per hit, he does. He hits three times and per hit, he heals. So, yeah. Look, let me show you. Bop, 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 bop. Pretty decent damage too. I was actually pretty decent damage. His next ability, Warm Harmonics. This is his passive. This is what makes Geb Geb kind of. Um, is each time Geb casts a healing ability actively, he passively heals the ally with the lowest HP. So not only is he healing someone with his skill one already, he's healing another person with the lowest ally. So it's so if that if that ally is really low, he's gonna do a huge big boosted boosted heal. So you want to run counter attack on him. So he's kind of always just healing, just like Claire. If a target suffers from a max HP penalty, restores the target's max HP threshold by a percentage and apply one stack of supporting song. So his new ability, supporting song, can't be dispelled and it gives you 2% of attack per stack and it stacks up to uh, 25 times, I believe. If the target's HP is below a certain percentage, apply another stack of supporting songs. So if they're below 50%, I remember, um, if they're below 50%, you add another stack so you can give them uh, another stack of supporting songs. So this is really good. I feel like he's gonna be really good uh, on um, on bruiser control um, on bruiser tank teams because he's just gonna apply this to people that you know. Bruiser and tank teams like to stay up for a long time. He'll he'll just keep giving everyone attack. So it'll help the bruisers out since they're already naturally tanky and the, the healers to keep chipping away at people. It's gonna be pretty good. So on his awakening, he clears the disease buff when he uh, when he uh, heals someone. Um, with his uh, passive. They actually didn't show any animation for his uh, skill too, which is like, what? <laughs> okay, I guess. Um, and then here's his uh, ultimate world stage, reduces ability cooldowns for all allies. And uh, that's big for one turn. Heals whichever ally has the lowest HP a certain number of time, 10 times. So he can heal a single person or a bunch of people that are low on HP and restoring their HP equal to a portion of the mass caster's max HP, which is actually pretty high up. The scaling is really high. I think it's 70, 80%. And uh, cooldown will not be affected by unit abilities. So if somebody's trying to lower his cooldowns, it won't work. He's the cooldown king. So this is how it looks. This is his ultimate. Nice. Wow, look at that heal. Oh my god, look at that heal. Woo! Bro, this ultimate looks so clean. Look at that heal, bro. Oh my god. He's gonna be. Do we have a new best healer in the game? Oh my god. Legit the best healer in the game. Might be. Might be. <laughs> Should you summon for him? Yo, bitch. Bro, he's good. He's good. He's really good. He's really good. 
And the jams are so smooth, bro. I love the jams. I love the jams. Oh my god, bro. That was that was great. Hey. They did good on these characters. Am I gonna pull for them? Yeah, yeah, I am. So uh make sure you guys subscribe. Um like the video if you like the video, share this with someone who you think might like it. Also press the notification bell so you guys won't miss any uh uploads that I put out. And uh I will see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Jada. I'm out.